we're going to discuss converting between rectangular and spherical coordinates. So let's take a look at the following example. If I have x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 5z, what would that equation be in spherical coordinates? What's our idea? Well, we need to remember, of course, that rho squared, the distance from the origin to the point P is rho. So if I have my point P here, the length, the length of that is rho. And we know that rho squared is simply x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So if that's the case, we can see that this first piece, x squared plus y squared plus z squared, is going to be rho squared. Then we have two triangles that we have to work with. We have our x, y, r theta triangle that we can work with. And then we also have which one? We also have z. This is rho. This is phi, and this is r. But again, you'll notice I have x squared plus y squared plus z squared is rho squared. I can make that substitution. Now, how can I work with z? Looking at my triangle here, what are we going to say? We're going to say cosine of phi is z divided by rho. So rho cos phi equals z. So let's go ahead and do our substitution see how we're going to convert this into spherical coordinates. So we have x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 5z. x squared plus y squared plus z squared, again, the length of that vector from 0 to p is rho squared. So rho squared equals 5z equals 5 times rho cos phi. So how can we simplify this? We can go ahead and do what? We can divide out rho to finish with rho equals 5 cos phi. So that's our equation in spherical coordinates. So let's take a look at the graph of that thing. So I've got it in spherical coordinates here. Let's take a look. So I've got rho equals 5 cos phi, and you can see what we have. We have a sphere that is centered somewhere above the xy plane, whose bottom point, if you will, is the point zero, zero. And let's compare that to what it was originally in rectangular coordinates. So how do, what do we get there? x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 5z. And you'll notice that indeed it is the same graph. So we have here it is in rectangular coordinates in blue, and here it is in spherical coordinates. Now let's go the other way. Let's start with something in spherical coordinates and let's convert it to rectangular coordinates. So this time I'm going to say, how about phi equals pi over six. So think about what that shape will be. So remember, phi is the angle that is made with the z-axis. So here's x, here's y, here's z. So if we have a point p here, we're saying the angle that is being made with the z-axis here is pi over six or 30 degrees. So what are all of the points p that would satisfy that condition, what would that look like? So let's consider the triangle that we looked at before. If this is Z and this is Rho, this is Phi and this is R. And then of course we also have the triangle here. This is x, this is y, this is r, this is theta. And of course, x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals rho squared if we need that. So let's keep all this in mind. So let's start here and say cosine of 
phi, you want to get x, y, and z, get rid of phi, rho, and theta. So cosine of phi is what? Adjacent over hypotenuse is z over rho. But we know that phi is pi over 6. So the cosine of pi over 6 is z over rho. Cosine of pi over 6 is the same as sine of pi over 3, which is root 3 over 2 is z over rho. How about I square both sides? Root 3 squared is 3. 2 squared is 4 equals z squared over rho squared. So continuing with this, 3 over 4 equals z squared over rho squared. What does that give me? 3 rho squared equals 4z squared. But what is rho squared? We already said, right? Rho squared is x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So we get 3 times x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 4z squared. So distributing, we get 3x squared plus 3y squared plus 3z squared equals 4z squared. Now let's subtract 4z squared from both sides. If we subtract 4z squared from both sides, what do we finish with? 3x squared plus 3y squared minus z squared equals zero. Now, is this what we expected it to be? So let's take a look at the graph of these and see what we see what we have. So here is a hand-drawn picture of phi equals pi over six. Notice there's our z-axis. All of the points whose vectors make a 30 degree angle with the north pole would generate that. Notice that's just the top half of that cone that we're working with there. So now let's take a look at that in terms of rectangular coordinates. So notice here is 3x squared plus 3y squared minus z squared equals zero. And you'll notice again, we have the elliptic cone, but we have both the upper half and lower half. And think about that for a second. Why would that happen? Well, what's our status? And just recognize that b equals pi over 6 and 3x squared plus 3y squared minus z squared equals 0 will certainly agree for the top part of the cone. We would have to define some things to make it work on the bottom half as well.